Uh, welcome to another brief fragrance moment. All right. Unless you've been living under a rock, under a rock, under the sea, my three favorite fragrance notes, rose, amber, and oud. And today I want to talk about five really nice amber fragrances that I probably would never do a standalone review on. I actually, really nice is an understatement. Two of them are freaking dope. Uh, they may get their own review, but I try not to do reviews on standalone fragrances because I think it's just kind of a waste of time to take seven or eight minutes to talk about one fragrance when so many fragrances are out there. Now this one right here from History de Parfum, from this one right here from History de Parfum, Amber 114. Everybody knows about this amber fragrance. But sadly, I don't think it gets enough love or enough wear because this fragrance line is so kind of obscure, but this is one of the standouts from the line. And in my opinion, it's a great kind of starter amber. Um, it definitely is one that leans a little bit sweeter. Uh, it's not really high on the resinous, concentra uh, resinous quality, very easy to wear, can be worn any season, any reason, by almost any style personality, which makes this in my opinion, quite a safe or tame, but a, yellow, a very good amber offering. Um, let's see. The next one we're going to do is right here. Uh, this one is called Eyes of the Tiger. Again, amber, lobdenum, vanilla uh, are the key players in this one. And, and I'm sorry, the packaging is what kills it for most people. I think Gucci really did a poor job on marketing research, releasing such cool fragrances and such dated, antiquated, rather off-putting packaging. Voice of the Snake, uh, Tears of Iris, there are plenty in the line that I think are great. Uh, but outside of the packaging being a problem, the price point on the juice, whoo. Now again, I like this fragrance, Amber, Vanilla, safe fragrance lobdenum great basic amber that can be worn pretty much year round it doesn't really lean resinous or smoky it definitely leans a little bit sweeter uh, but i love it and it's definitely uh unisex on my skin it smells much different than on my lady friend's skin when they spray fragrances i'm always fascinated to see what it smells like on them versus on me so this one right here uh, the Eyes of the Tiger from Gucci, another pretty, another, another great amber fragrance. Yeah, yeah Eyes of the Tiger. Uh-huh. Now, let's get into the next one. This one right here from Arisha. This is uh, Persepolis. Shout out to Big Beard Business uh, for recommending this for me. All I did is I got a text message from B with just this fragrance. And anytime B sends me something, I know the guy doesn't slip. So I just went and grabbed it. I went and grabbed it, and I'm glad I did. This stuff is fantastic, fantastic fragrance. And for the what you get for the price, man, is I, I really wish this was in more stores. I mean, I actually had to get this from uh, online because they didn't have a local place here that has it. But everything that I like about an amber fragrance, it has that, you know, the antique kind of quality, but it's that sweet resinous kind of thing. It leans much more like the amber absolute Tom Ford kind of thing. I love wearing this at night, especially uh, if I'm about to, you know, you settle in and do some work or watch a movie or something, just ch -ch -ch. this is a good home. This is a, this is a fragrance I like wearing a lot for me. But as it gets cooler outside, this will be getting a lot of play because of, I like the vibe I think this is going to create. This just makes you want to vibe in a different way. All right, the next one, Amber Loop from Rainya J. Again, now we're kind of getting into the ambers I like. Smoky, resinous, deep, brooding. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say this is probably one of the best amber fragrances on the market if you like the amber, if you like ambers the way I do. If you like ambers, if you like ambers the way I do, you like in the brew, yeah, this one is dope. And I will tell you, that little bit, that 50 ml, is about all I actually think I'll need forever. I mean, yes, it comes in a 100 ml bottle, but I have so many other ambers. 
Uh, and there's so this thing is so potent, so so uh, so overpowering on my skin. I think a 100 ml bottle would just be a little bit too much. Rainier J Amber Loop is another fantastic amber fragrance. Uh, but uh, this one right here, though, Amber Ariva, Amber Ariva. I don't know how to pronounce this name. I don't even. What is this from? Perfumo Roma. Look, all right. This one I've heard about for years, and what threw me off about it is because I could never find it in a store. But I've heard about this line often, and I've looked at the reviews. I looked at people that I trust, and and I've heard incredible things about it. So I had to actually just go blind by it. And when I blind bought it, I was shocked to realize that guess what? It doesn't come with the spray. It comes as a splash and a roller ball. So I was not too excited about that until I put it on my skin. This is incredible. In freaking incredible. Probably one of the three best amber fragrances on the planet, in my opinion. Um, and that's saying something. And now, I like the smoky, brooding nature of it. I think it also has like a gray amber in it. So... Amber does a little bit something different in each fragrance, but this one right here, man, ooh, I think I'll give it a standalone review because um, it's a masterpiece of an amber fragrance. And if you like ambers the way I do, man, you got to check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, again, no spray bottle. You can, fi you can fix that, though. You can fix that, no problem. Ah, uh, <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. What is the fragrance of the day? Today, I'm actually wearing Killian Amber Oud. Today is an amber day. Yeah. Yeah. Do me a favor. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know. What are some of your favorite ambers? What are some of the ambers that you like to wear the most? They don't have to be ones that everybody else is wearing. What are some uh where's something what about something that you dig wearing just for you because as we do these fragrance moments it's going to be many things that i got in my collection that i just kind of wear just for me or uh that really don't necessarily need a big huge review and that's what i think these fragrance moments are for so i hope you like them until the next time your godfather is out